Rise and grind, Doobie. Alright. It's Fooby here today. I don't have a video to render out. And then I can upload. Will's already editing. I've already done it. I've got a mad sore throat, so I probably sound like a man right now. A little you bit. Sound like a man. I got a call back about a job opportunity. Oh, what did they say? They said if you're interested, you gotta call me back to let me know. What is it? It's a network engine in Fort Worth, I think. Hey, are you gonna give them a call back? Later today. Nice. Look at Doobie. Remember guys, if Doobie does get a different job, he's still gonna vlog. There'll still be vlog his face. <laughs> Maybe it'll probably be more so of me vlogging waiting for Doobie to come home. We've got a scorchy cat here this morning. She's very mad at her mother because Ron has not fed her yet. Do you want your food? Let's get dirty. Let's get digest some food. I Need to actually text Will's mom. Let's see what's going on here. Oh gosh. Okay, it's 12.36. This babe is hungry. Where's your food at? Wait, did you already feed her, cute? You did? You've already been fed, Durda. At what point did you feed her? Oh my god, you're a liar, Durda. Here, let me give you a pet anyway. You've already eaten, girl. I'm about to make me some eggs. Let me go over here to the refrigerator. Go dum 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 We've got so much leftover poppy seed chicken from last night. It's pretty ridiculous. I'll probably have it for dinner. Um, but I'm gonna try, I'm trying to get like as healthy or as possible an option. So I'm gonna have eggs for breakfast, which should be delicious. We just got these new set of eggs and they were not that expensive. Let's see if they have any cracks. I forgot to check. No cracks. All right. So I'm gonna cook me some eggs. I think Doobie's gonna have cereal this morning. And then we have to go, actually, I'm not showing myself because I look like just Satan's bum right now. Um, but we, you know what? Screw it. You guys are here to watch me look like Satan's bum. We're gonna head over. We don't have a whole lot planned for today. We have CrossFit. Um, and we need to head over. I need to try on Will's sister's getting married in October, which we will vlog that. Although we'll keep the only, like the intimate details of it and stuff pretty secret. We're gonna be, it's gonna be in Port Aransas. I can say that at least. And we're gonna be in Port Aransas for a week when that happens. And so, um, I have to try on some dresses. His mom's got me some dresses. So I'm gonna go try those on. We might show you me trying on those dresses. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you get to pick the one that you guys like. Cause she's usually pretty good about it. She's good at picking dresses for me. She buys all my dresses because I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. All right, I'm sitting here trying to talk to Doobie. Doobie is like gung-ho on getting a ramp, like a full-on, almost half-pipe style ramp. I want like ramp a half-pipe style ramp to into the pool. To take a bike or a skateboard and go, for one, he can't even ride a skateboard, so we're gonna go with take a bike for now. To take a bike. Yeah, I'm gonna, you guys wanna with me learn how to skateboard? That'll be interesting. You, well, no, first learn how to skateboard and then learn how to even just drop into a entry ramp off the skateboard. Did you see what happened to Big Black when he did that? Big Black's a big man. He was a big man, sadly, he's dead now. All right, big black. Um, so he wants to get this, and I'm trying to explain to him, I didn't even have one with the entry ramp. When I was younger, I used to think I was some kind of like BMX pro. As you guys heard, I tried to go off of my porch and I broke my collarbone doing it. I also used to try to hit ramps, and I did hit them, no problem, but there was one time where I hit it incorrectly, and I just went forward, face first into the asphalt, and busted my head open. And so I'm thinking as an adult now, because then you don't think. When you're like nine or 10, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. But this age, I think about busting my head open. And so I'm very scared about this idea, and he wants this big one. I'm saying, why don't we just start with a small ramp? and see if we can even get off the bike into the pool in the small ramp. I was just trying to think of something fun to do with our pool. And I've never been able to ride a bike into a pool or anything like that because my parents always tell me no. And now I have my own pool. Yeah, I'm old, but I don't care. I still want to do it. Do you want to try first just getting the bike and riding it into the pool without a ramp? Uh, first we need to just find a cheap bike that'll at least we can both fit on. Because you can, you can obviously. We just need one. We don't need two bikes. Before you, yeah, we just need one. Before you, you can go get like a mongoose at Walmart. That's probably our size, like one of those like yeah, cheaper like BMX style bikes. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> um, but first of all, you could just do where you just pull up right before you go off the edge, and then you go into the pool. I don't know if you know how to do that. I know how to do that, but it's been a while. I don't know. So, otherwise you're just going face first into the pool and you're risking getting caught on the bike. And what if you yourself. become the next BMX stunt pro and you had no idea you had so much talent? <laughs> I stopped doing that when I was like nine. Yeah, but what if you like get the itch and you're like... You know who we could have here that would do that? They would both go off the Brian and Ray. Not just the boy, Brian and Ray, but also my brother and Dewey. They're into that. Oh, and they really? would definitely go off of a thing to do it. They had their bikes and they were doing that all over the place. So maybe we can get a few people to do it with us. I know Brian and Ray would do it. Yeah, we that know would Brian be interesting. would do it. Brian and Ray are, they both ride BMX and rollerblade and skateboard, so. They used to do flips, didn't they? Yeah, 
Yeah, they can do all, Ray can do all kinds of flips. Ray's disgusting. Really? Yeah, Brian will do it and I feel like injure himself, but I mean, he lives, he's got like a thousand lives, so we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, Brian, Brian's used up a couple of those thousand lives. <laughs> you want to give me a spin? I'll tell you what, that, to me that would be the beach welcoming cocktail party. Yeah, I agree. Is it light? It is light. It is, it is sem semi-warm right here, but I think it's just because I'm not used to having anything on my neck. This so, time of year. Yeah. yeah. Which but will be different then. In October, it'll be a little bit different. Yeah. It'll be cooler. Just make sure that these look fine. They look good. You see all They look very good. They really do. This one's, I, I, I like the way this one fits. Yeah. I like the long dresses on you. And the mm -hmm. color. It's real good. The color is perfect. Yeah. Well, that's a rehearsal dinner dress. Yeah, that would be rehearsal dinner, but not wedding. Mm -hmm. not How do you know? Like, <laughs> let me tell you. That's the only choice let you have left. Let me tell you. He's gone over this with me oh, many he's times. That. He's like, oh, well, that dress is good because you really can't tell how big you are underneath there. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got an impatient dirt all down here. So, I'm all showered up, ready to go to our birthday, friend's birthday dinner. Um, it's gonna be Richie and Savannah, which you guys have met before on this channel. Went to their pool party, it was pretty awesome. So we're going to this place, I don't know what this place is, but I'm just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. Dirtle, what are you doing? I'm looking off. I don't, I don't even know you're there. Wow, Dirtle, just ignoring me. What a rude cat. Jessie is currently filming her video for tomorrow, I think, and uh, she's recording. Yeah. are getting desperate here. We're out of salsa and we're out of chips and there are no more drinks to be had. <laughs> Jesse, how's your food? It looks really good. It's so good right now. Like a long time ago. Blue Mesa? Oh. I know. Okay, thank you. What is that? Enchiladas. Enchiladas. We finally got our food. It's been like, you know, 30 minutes. Wow. Wow. Hater. Never took a look at tables. What's up, girl? Such a party. This is so wild right now. You're just mad that you stink at golf. I do stink at golf. Well, I used to eat good. What a pig. What a pig. Really? So, Jesse doesn't like to eat. Uh, do you see how much food's left? Just used to be skinny and not eat. I'm sick right now. I'm just kidding. You're still skinny. Yeah. Hurry. 
So guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for tonight. Jesse's already passed out. It's only, what time is it? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Jesse's passed out, she's not feeling well, she's sick. So we're just gonna probably end it here. Um, I don't have any notes or anything, like I don't know. There's nothing I need to address. Um, you guys are awesome, thank you for all the support. If you've made it this far, then just make sure you have your notifications turned on. It's the only way videos succeed in YouTube these days. Uh, always like our stuff, anything like that. What else is going on? Of course, the Jake Paul stuff, which I'm sure you guys have heard plenty about. That dude or something else, man. <sighs> he got, he's got no respect for nobody else but himself. That's weird. That's not good. Um, Game of Thrones is awesome. I don't get, I don't know if I got to ex explain, explain my point of view. Game of Thrones was awesome last night, but at the same kind, at the same time, it was the corniest episode I'd ever seen. It was, it was directed really weird. It was very trendy and snappy. Like they went from uh, spoiler alert. Okay, so if change the channel or change the video if you haven't seen it yet, but they went from. Cutting off the scales of what's his name, I don't, I don't know his name, to eating a pie, and then they did the same thing again where, or, or before, uh, they were having sex, the, the unsolid guy, Grey Dick, or Grey No Dick, whatever his name is, was having sex with the, with the, the other lady. <laughs> I don't know her name either, but you know, this is very descriptive, you know what I mean? But anyways, the key people who were having sex, and you thought her hand was the guy who grabbed the book. And they did this a couple times, and then I thought that was corny, just because I know it's clever or whatever, but it doesn't fit the Game of Thrones style, which we've come accustomed to, which is just from one scene to the next, like nothing tricky editing involved. And then Euron, what, that's his name, right? Euron, Euron, Uranus, that's, that's his name, Uranus. Let's just call him Uranus from here on out. The guy who is a Greyjoy, but he's the brother, uh, it's Greyjoy, right? Not Greybeard? Greybeard would be old man, right? Yeah, not Gandalf. No, we're not, that, okay, now I'm getting confused. Um, but he rides in on this awesome looking boat. They made the boat look like it was four times bigger than the other boats, which is cool, which would mean that that would be why they got dominated, right? Because it's the craziest boat. But he comes in like screaming and flailing like some sort of boss fight at the end of a video game. What? Game of Thrones, when have you ever done an action-packed intro like that before? I mean, I guess it was kind of cool, but it's like one of those eye roll moments for me where I'm just like, oh God. How, how much cornier could it get? So to me, I felt like that was a very cheesy episode. Just because of those, just because of those three moments in there, like, spoiled it for me. And something about how, I don't know how they're doing the storyline, but I don't know what it is about just this last episode. The first episode was amazing. Getting to see Arya take revenge and everything. But this episode, some, something about the plot, like how it's unfolding, I feel like is cheap or cheesy. It's it feels too good, if that makes sense. Like, things are starting to wrap up in the way that you kind of expect it, where Snow's gonna get some help from, or he's gonna team up with the uh, dragons and Khaleesi and all that, and I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out, but it's so... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so, it's so cheesy to me because Game of Thrones never goes in a straight line, and this is as straight line as they've gone since the premiere of the show. No, and that wasn't even a straight line. The first episode, Bran got kicked off a damn castle. So, yeah, there goes that straight line. So, in Game of Thrones fashion, it's, it's summing up very strangely this season, so we'll see how this story continues. Other than that, what else? I don't have anything else. That was my Game of Thrones first take, really, from last night. This will be two nights from now, whenever this is released, but when I'm recording it, woo, it's a Monday. So it was last night. Um, what else is going on? Jesse's asleep. 
the cat keeps bothering me. I'm just gonna lay down. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I've got these melatonin, um, what you call it? Vitamin C's. Uh, emergency. It's called you know emergency, where it's like vitamin C and stuff. It's emergent Z. It's awesome. Helps me fall asleep. I had some really weird lucid dreams, so it might be this extra melatonin I'm getting. Uh, I'm gonna see if I wake up like making nachos in the oven or something. <laughs> that would be awesome. Like sleepwalking. I sleep, well, I have sleptwalked before, so who knows how this is gonna affect me. I'm gonna like be throwing a TV or something. I'm gonna wake up mid TV flight, my plasma is gonna go break into a million pieces. I don't know. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Melatonin. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna end the vlog here. You guys are awesome. Have a nice night. And uh, sorry we didn't show you much of the dinner, but there's a bunch of kids around and we're not comfortable with, unless the parents say it's okay, we're not comfortable with filming other people's kids and putting them on YouTube. So that cuts out pretty much the entire dinner because everyone has kids right now. So. Just not tonight. You guys got to see a little bit of Jesse's dresses. I'll uh, put that in the vlog. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for the support. Hit the like button. Sean, don't smash it. Don't smash it, Sean. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.